Hello viewers. Fandov Azike Azike is my name. Today I will be talking on the subject title. How to have an effective leadership in the nation's building. The essence of this subject discourse is to educate our young people and people of good will and conscience of the need to have an effective leadership at various levels of human activities. Yes, when we talk of effective leadership, we must recognize the fact that effective leadership is a missing value and a link in our modern day society and human activities. We must also recognize the fact that leadership is not an easy task. As a matter of fact, the most difficult task is the management of the people. So when we talk of effective leadership, we must recognize the fact that if effective leadership have so much far-reaching influence and effect in the realizations of our person, that is the dreams and aspirations of the people. So we must not neglect or underestimate these powers and influence. The efficacy of effective leadership cannot be overlooked. Now, what do we understand in this perspective to be the effective leadership? When we talk of effective leadership, we are talking of the composition of men and women of character. Men and women that are disciplined. Men and men that have a unique qualities as well have a public acceptance that put themselves together to control the machinery and motions in place that will respond to responsibilities that will be responsive to the people's wishes and aspirations they will adopt the right course of actions and plans as well as policies to ensure that the interests of the people are projected as well as protected and the people in return will enjoy the greatest happiness of the greatest number. So when we talk about effective leadership, effective leadership is a vehicle that we need to attract growth and development is a vehicle that will convey us to a place where we can harness our dreams and aspirations and realize our original versions of ourselves. Now, how can we have this effective leadership as well as sustain this effective leadership? You as an individual, you are a stakeholder, you are an equal stakeholder in establishing an effective leadership. You have a contribution to make for us to have an effective leadership. Yes, you must not forget 
that the society you wish to see must begin and start with you. That is to say, if you really want an effective leadership in your country, in your community, in your state, in your organizations, you must live a life that is a true reflection of the values that the people accept. You must be the signpost the people we see. You must become a good ambassador. You must be a good citizen by fulfilling all that is required of you according to the constitution. You have to do your duties and responsibilities. You must see your duties as constitutional and morally required of you. You must not do all these things by compulsion, but you must do it because you recognize the fact that you are required to do such. You must be patriotic. You must support causes that will promote growth and development. You must support the government in areas that require of you. You must support this leadership with every sincerity and purity of mind. When you begin to put these values that are acceptable, when you ask, when you manifest them and decide to put such values to support the leadership, we will have an effective leadership. So your contribution is fundamental. Your contribution is very, very important. When you support the leadership, the leadership will offer their best. So you as an individual must be a good citizen. You must be patriotic. You must be effective as well. You must cooperate. You must do the right things so that the leadership will not fall the standard. Another area we can have an effective leadership is the selection process. When we begin to select people, our leaders that we intend to hand over the leadership structure or hand over our rights to exercise on our behalf must be people that have so much values in what learning. If we want to have an effective leadership, we should have leaders that are ready to learn. When you begin to learn, you become wise. You discover more new things. Leaders, an effective leader is that leader that is ready to learn. When you begin to learn, you begin to train. Leaders must be learners. You must learn every day. You must also believe in the principle of training. You must believe in training because preparation is a step that will make leaders to actualize their visions. So you must elect leaders that will have the passion to learn and train and retrain their subjects. When they train and retrain their subject, there's very good vision and assurance that they will be a good successors. People that will succeed then will be will be well equipped. But when leaders are not training and not retraining their subjects, we cannot have effective leadership. We cannot have good continuity. 
But when leaders train, believe in training and train, they will have what? Continuity. And they will have an expertise knowledge through the transfer of values and intellectual capacity. When they transfer values, it will help in what? In the delegation of power and responsibilities. This will enhance efficiency. When responsibilities are delegated to people that have been trained, there will be efficiency in the system. So the leaders we need are leaders who are ready to learn. Leaders who place values on learning and training and retraining of their subject. And they can do this and effectively when all these things can manifest when they begin to share responsibility and people will be responding and discharging their duty effectively. It is very, very important that leaders should be people who are ready to learn. When they learn, they will adapt to changes. They will subscribe to innovations. Above all, leaders must be men and women with character. They must be men and women of character. Character is the moral force of leadership. Character defines who, who you are. When you have character deficit, you cannot become an effective leader. So we need men and women of character. Men that are not of double standards. When you have men and women of character, they are not ready to compromise their position. They are not going to sacrifice their position. They are people that are ready to die for what they believe. They are ready to sacrifice themselves for the result. Why such organization or state exist? People of character are men and women that are ready to lose their life for the sake of the people. So effective leaders are leaders that have concluded to sacrifice themselves for the betterment of the society. So we need leaders that are effective to attract growth and development as an individual, as a community, as a state, as, as at large, the country as a whole. When we have effective leadership, we will have an enabling environment where we can realize our dreams and aspirations. Effective leadership is a key to progress is a key for unity is a key to put the community the country and the map of development effective leadership is very very important in every human activities thank you very much don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for the now.